This is a tale about a plain and simple penguin and how he changed our zoo forever. In the early era of capitalism, the twisted and foul shadow of corruption and greed cast itself over every aspect of life. Nothing was spared, not even zoos. Welcome to Potter Park Zoo, the only 24-hour zoo terrific experience. I could be like that penguin over there. <laughs> he hasn't got a chance. Flip that up, flip that up. As the premier prima donna Priscilla Parrot so precisely pontificated, Polly Penguin was afforded no special attention. <laughs> he slipped and flipped and did all those things penguins are good at. Who turned out the light? <laughs> But because he had plain black and white feathers and an awkward, wobbly body, he was shunned and most cruelly ignored. Attention all birds! Attention all birds! Inspection time! Inspection time! He's coming! He's going to see me! I must stop it! Here we go again. Give me a break. All the birds in Potter Park Zoo's birdhouse were safe from homelessness or extinction. Hey, hey, come over here. We need more people. He's coming. He's coming. But only as long as they made a pretty profit. Uh-oh. Oh, 
I'm getting too old for this. I'm safe this week, right? I mean, I have 30 people, right? 30 is good, right? 30 is enough, right? I mean, I, I'm good. I'm good. I'm safe. <laughs> I'm not worried. I'm by far the most profitable bird here. The crowds, being a fickle and frivolous faction, were much more interested in the glamorous glitz and glimmer of the other birds. Although he didn't know it, this was certainly not good for a kind little penguin named Polly. Not good, indeed. Sorry, Grisella, darling. I have the figures. You see, the zoo manager, one Ebenezer Kraglich, and his wrongful, wicked wife, Grisella, cared for nothing except making money and acquiring the power that accompanies it. Much longer. <laughs> Ooh, my precious little boys will finally have their very own home, won't they? Then where does the penguin go? Your faith gives you away, Ebenezer. If we are to rid ourselves of that useless bird, and put in its place my beauteous, not to mention profitable peacock exhibit, we must look one way and act another. <laughs> uh, Gazelle, darling. My plan's already in action. But you know what section 401, paragraph 5 of the zoo owner's manual says. <clears throat> At least one specimen of Antarctica... Not if he continues to be a financial disaster. A disaster that, if left unchecked, will soon drain the zoo's funds, forcing the dear members of the board to come to their senses and declare that that useless penguin must go! But, Chriselle... to continue to need mummy at the hippo mud baths. Then he'll be a good boy and do as he's told. That penguin must go! Things I endure for you, my love. The things I endure. Get the water out of the eyes. Being a penguin sure is nice. Soon, soon, my 
I love, you will have your very own space, and that wretched penguin will be gone forever! About this plan. Are you so cowardly that you're afraid of what happens to a stupid bird? I guess I thought you were more of a man than that. That properless penguin will be taken care of. You shall see. I guarantee it. Quick, places everyone. Enter. Penguin, when I have something that is useless to me, what do I do with it? I'll tell you what I do. I get rid of it, sell it off at auction, and squeeze a profit out of it. And unless attendance increases at your exhibit very soon, you will be gone. <gasps> Penguin, you're nothing but an ordinary bird. Look at yourself. There's not a single thing special about you. You eat, sleep, and occupy space. That's all. Who would waste their money on you? Well, Miss Frizzella, uh, I've always been told that one's true worth is measured in character, not coins. You have, have you? Well, when you're crated up and your useless carcass is sold for fish bait, we'll just see whose theory is correct, won't we, Penguin? You have one week to make a profit, bird. One week only, or you're out! Mr. Um, uh... Interesting look. <laughs> if you're into small, dark, and unhandsome, which I am not. <laughs> uh, I wondered what makes you so special. What makes me so special? You must be joking, darling. <laughs> Take a gander at these long and luxurious legs. You'll be hypnotized. Mr. Messy Face. Um, I was wondering.
wondering. You were wondering what it is that makes me so popular and exciting. Oh, Ugh. yes. Uh, Do I have um, to spell it out for you, man? Look. Toko let Tukan. That means a very special bird. Known for its extraordinary, super, fantastical, magnifico, extremely extravagantissimo, colorful beak. The proof? It's in the print. And you, my friends, you need a much better beak. Uh, a better beak. Look, between you and me, compadre, you don't get all this without playing the game. Learn to play the game well, and you can get anything your heart desires. Huh? Now go. You're scaring away my business. And now, go, go, go. Oh, it's exhausting being so wonderful. It's good I have a lot of practice. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, miss. Oh, are you talking to me? Oh, yes, Miss. Uh, Pros um, Priscilla Perot. Yes, Miss Priscilla. Uh, I was. And you uh, want what? Mm, well, I see you've got quite a big crowd here, and well, I don't have any. And. <laughs> and I was wondering what it is that makes you so special. Well, my dear, where should I begin? I'm covered in feathers from every color of the rainbow. I speak human and bird talk fluently, and I can sing a tune that rivals even the greatest of operatic divas. Simply put, I'm wonderful. And you are not. But just take a look. Colorful feathers. Good singing voice. Mm, I've been here a long time, and that's no accident. You've got to put out or get out, penguin. It's that simple. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, ugly.
I hope you like your going away present, Penguin. <laughs> I picked it especially for you. the trucks for the penguin pickup and step on it. Roger. Now, let's see how much more space we'll need for the new peacock exhibit. Out of my way, bird. Stupid bird. I can't believe you lasted here this long. Stupid ice and snow. I hate this area. All this wasted space. Well, there might just be enough room for my beauties. Let's see. One, two, oh. three. Be careful there. The ice is slippery. Don't tell me what to do, you plain little useless nothing. <sighs> One, two, no, watch out. two. Ah! And it was at that very instant, comrades, that the plucky little penguin dug down deep within himself, and from the depths of utter despair and total alienation, <sighs> kindness and love sprung out. Polly was plain. He is simple, without a doubt. But he was good and kind, and those qualities, dear comrades, were worth much more than any money could ever muster. Because you're stupid. Unlike you, I can walk. Here to perform. 
one's supposed to be here. Not me. Looks like you won't be flapping your pathetic flippers around here much longer. <laughs> Did you remember to pack your bags, penguin? <laughs> but what did I do? <laughs> Nothing! That's the point! Come on, let's make it quick! <laughs> Next week, ladies and gentlemen, You'll be amazed by a spectacular new peacock exhibit instead of this thing here, who is boring, lame, and simple. That's not true. That's not true at all. There's something you should all know. Shut up, you weakling! You'll ruin everything! He doesn't know what he's saying. There's something you should all know. Something that can no longer be kept a secret. The penguin, as we just witnessed, is a swimming bird. I had my suspicions, but not until now did I realize that no one knew this important fact. Because all this time it's been hidden. Hidden beneath a coating of white paint. Look inside. Swims. Stupid fool! You've ruined everything I planned! I should have known he could go through with it. Coward! Imbecile! Miserable excuse for a man! Looks like things are going to be a little different around here now that she's going to have time to cool off. I'm sorry, Polly. Looks like we were both under the same spell. Senor, you won't regret it. And so it was that a plain little penguin with a good heart cast off the weighty shadow of oppression and exploitation, making it safe for creatures everywhere to live in peace.
Thank you.